Hey there, bakers. Today, we're gonna talk about something super tiny, but really important in making bread. It's called yeast. Yeast is like magic dust for bread. It's actually made up of teeny tiny living things that you can't see without a special microscope. These little guys love to eat sugar and then they burp out the air bubbles. Isn't that funny? Those air bubbles are what rise and make our bread fluffy. Long, long ago, people didn't know about yeast. They just noticed that sometimes their bread would puff up and taste really good. It was a mystery. But then about 150 years ago, a famous scientist named Louis Pasteur discovered that that secret ingredient was yeast. There are different types of yeast, kind of like there's different flavors of ice cream. The most common one we use is called baker's yeast. It comes in tiny little packages or in a little jar, just like the one we used in the video earlier. There's also wild yeast that floats around the air. It's what makes sourdough taste so yummy and have a little bit of tang. When we mix the yeast with warm water and sugar, it wakes it up and it starts to eat. As it eats, it makes those tiny air bubbles I told you about earlier. That's why when we make bread, we let the dough sit for a while to give it that time to rise. We're giving the yeast time to eat and make those bubbles to help the dough rise. The more the yeast eats and burps, the more it rises. That's why we sometimes let bread dough rise twice, just like we did when we made our loaf of bread, which gave it even more bubbles and made it extra fluffy. So next time you bite into a soft, squishy piece of bread, remember to thank those tiny yeast for all their hard work. They may be small, but they're the real heroes of our delicious bread. And that's the science of yeast tiny living things that eat sugar and burp out air bubbles to make our bread rise. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for joining us on the science of yeast.